Um, Jamie Cook, thank you so much for inviting me into the Bone Museum Articulation After Hours. Congratulations. Thanks, Cindy. It's um, very exciting for us. I mean, last night was opening night. Last night was opening night. We had a big crowd. We had about 60 people here. Um, we actually sold some of the artwork, which is all very exciting for the grander plan for the Bone Museum. So yes. um, yeah, it was a good launch. So we're, we're here in the dark because yeah. we're going to have a bit of a play because I believe, how long ago did you have some students through and you guys did a bit of a torchlight? We did um, torchlight tour on Wednesday night last week. Okay. And we're doing it every Wednesday for July oh, at 5.30. wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. So give us a bit of a demo of torchlight here in, oh, the, so, in the Bone uh, Museum. We're actually in the study of uh, Frau, her doctor, Yusinia Hergenflirtz, who's travelled the world collecting these wonderful things. And um, so it sort of freaks the kids out a little bit, get them down here in the dark and they bring their torches and they see all this stuff because it's uh, pretty dark in here at night time. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they had a great time. They, it's, we had to kick some of them out after 15, 20 minutes. They were just like doing laps. It was great. Oh. And they yeah. probably weren't even on their phones, which is even no. more awesome, right? Yeah. Yeah. Torches, old yeah. school. Yeah, that's right. Very cool, very cool. So um, show us what we've got in this central piece here. I love this one. What what am I what am I looking at here with this is the elegant rabbit? That's elegant rabbit. That's elegant rabbit. Fabulous. So yeah, that's a rabbit and uh, Manu has gilded the spine. Beautiful. So um, yes, he's quite beautiful. And uh, this uh, happy couple over here. Some uh, quintessentially Queensland cane toads. Lovely. And um, and uh, a lamb. A la really? Yeah. Gosh. And uh, over here. Uh, it's a fish of some sort. I haven't quite worked out what uh, what that is yet. Yeah. But uh, some sort of flat-headed fish and some wild dog skeletons. Oh, also, fantastic. Uh, gilded here too. Gilded and um, with some acrylic paint um, yeah. effects. Lovely. Which makes them look quite uh, aged and natural, I think, which fantastic. is uh, great. And so has has it been really well received? Have you had oohs and ahs and, you know, surprise oh, look, and all sorts of questions? We were just blown away. First day, Monday, we were open. We had visitors from Karoi and Rainbow Beach came out specifically to see it so yeah. that's um that's been fantastic tony um we might get you to put the lights on so that you can see us a bit better yeah okay thank you <laughs> that's great are we casting shadows now <laughs> um well actually yeah uh, my good friend katie tony from channel seven she texted me yesterday and said what do you know about that flesh eating bone museum thing that's going on in gimpy she goes oh. Do you reckon the kids would love it? And I was like, absolutely. Yeah. So she came up this morning. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, she brought the kids up and um, and a mum, I think. And uh, yeah, they had a, a lap around here, and I showed them the beetles. And oh, brilliant! We had the microscope set up, so we had some close up and personal with the flesh eating beetles. So, so where are the beetles um, in rest now? Are they no, having an they, afternoon nap? They don't get a, a day off at all. They don't. Yeah, sort of like us, really. So where are they? Where are oh, they? Oh, they're back at uh, at the workshop at the moment. Because Deb did offer to bring them down, yeah. and I, I think my comment was only if they're on their A game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they'd had a big morning out. So. Yeah. <laughs> They, they've eaten a whole guinea pig. It's, and a always, of it's always interesting <laughs> talking to you guys. I tell you, it's like you're my favourite people to interview. Um, sure. So can we spin this around, Tony? Let's let's go for a walk underneath um, this monstrosity here. Without, without, oh my gosh, this is the camel. It's Nora. Nora. I like to call her. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I brought her in here on um, Tuesday afternoon and um, partially completed yeah. and stood her up for the first time and went, Nora. <laughs> so Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. So uh, yeah, she's huge, a lot bigger than I thought but she would be. But she is only a baby. No, she's no, mature. She is mature. Yeah. It's, it's so, um, you know, it, it's, it kind of tricks you without the rest of the Yeah, they, <laughs> the don't, they don't really look that big, I guess, yeah, if you yeah. see them from a distance in the paddock. You know? It's like a yeah. really big cow or something. Uh, but I, because I remember when we were at doing our interviews prior to the um, Cloudland event, you had a calf and, is that what we say? I thought you had a smaller... Yes, yeah, the juvenile Yeah, you had a juvenile camel. Yeah, camel. She's, she's just over there. Oh, is she? Your friend on the table. Oh my God, the one that I made yes. a mistake about. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's not put that in. 
Uh, so what else would you like to show us while we're wandering around, seeing as Tony's oh. off the tripod? Look, we something can... that um, we're, we're quite wrapped about is our, um, our replica platypus uh, skeleton, which um, we got part of the, the um, we used the RADF funding for that and yep. for the gilding work. So nice links to the Mary, Mary River. And, Absolutely. Um, the MRCCC invited us to the um, water festival last weekend or the week before. So Lovely. She, she got he got his um, debut down there with uh, much interest. So uh, yeah, so that's a bit of a, a centerpiece, and I, I love my dog as well. So um, that's a domestic dog. Um, I love their nasal structures. Look at that. That's why they smell so well. Yeah, with all the little all filaments the crinkly, inside. Um, yeah. Bones that support the olfactory yeah. working. So. And teeth in good nick too. Yeah. 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 So, um, um, and so come along here and, and just uh, show us the fun that your gorgeous wife's been having. Yeah, so whenever we prepare skeletons, we always get little bits and pieces left over or specimens that just don't work out. So um, we had all these bits of bones um, accumulating in the shed. So we've um, put them to art as it's an art and science exhibition. Absolutely. And uh, Deborah has come up with uh, some rather amazing stuff in the frames that uh, Manu has prepared They're beautiful. for us. So, Absolutely uh, gorgeous. We're still trying to get our heads around the art science thing ourselves as strictly yeah. you know scientific types. Yeah. The, um, Breaking out of symmetry was in Deborah's thinking was quite difficult for us. So absolutely. I think she's done, yeah, she uh, has. This really, is I love this. This is absolutely gorgeous. That's been a favourite. Everyone comes to the dragonfly and has a little bank. Yeah, yeah. and so I, I also like the um moose head. The little moose head there, that's pretty special too. Yeah. So um, and so we'll move along here because these pieces are probably um Manu's, you know, biggest pieces that yes. he did for right. the articulation. Mm -hmm. So we have the, uh, the the golden sacrum, so it's a cow's sacrum. Yes. And uh, which we he's used um, three different types of gold on that. So we've got that that white gold and uh, some twelve and twenty two karat gold, thirteen and twenty two karat gold. So beautiful. Um, yes, he's very clever with. Uh, Congratulations, Manu. We couldn't um, we couldn't coordinate for him to be here, um, unfortunately. unfortunately. No. So we'll, we might try and get a chat with Manu at a later date yeah, before be the exhibition yeah. closes. And this is George the Goat. So um, it's been a long a long road for George. <laughs> <laughs> he was a he was a bit of a trick to, to clean out in the in the workshop um, to get him ready for Manu to, to work his magic on. So uh, I remember seeing him, right? Yeah, or, yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. So greasy little devil he was, <laughs> <laughs> as goats and lambs tend to be. So yes, we've got the combination of uh, a couple of different uh, carrots of gold and some uh, local red cedar uh, that I'd been hoarding for a number of years to, to finish his horns off. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, and we'll move over here because these pieces are quite interesting and they should come up quite um, wonderful under the light. Yeah. So uh, Annie Howard is a friend of ours from Brisbane. Um, she likes doing a bit of beach combing and actually uh, worked on a trawler in North Queensland as a, as a young girl and went on to do fine arts at uni. Yes. Uh, so we've got a lot of found objects and uh, marine hardware. Oh, I love um, this. That's fantastic. And bits and bobs. They just put a. A, an amazing collection of things together, especially for this um, it's exhibition. It's wildly eclectic, isn't it? Look at it. Brilliant. So much to to look at and wonderful for, you know, imagination and, you know, for kids to kind of marvel at. And it's terrific. People walk in here and they say, oh, that's a, a bow and arrow or it's a gun or it's a musical instrument. It's, everyone has a totally different view on what they see and it's often the first thing that they they see when they walk into the room. Well, I think you are nailing the convergence of science and art <laughs> quite well. We're but trying. <laughs> for, the, for this, you know, for this to be occurring and for you to already have, um, you know, put together this many pieces and for people to come and, you know, you, you're well on your way. So um, we congratulate you and yeah. Deb. We congratulate Manu um, on the curation. 
of all of the pieces yep. and how long do people have to um, come in and enjoy this now? We're open until the 30th of July uh, during normal opening hours for the Quartz Hub. Excellent. And, here, and we have uh, a bit of after hours um, scheduled activities on as well, so the Torchlight Tours. So Wednesday night for Torchlight Wednesday Tours. Night for tor 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 Torchlight Tours. Uh, the the Gimpy Camera Club's coming in tomorrow morning to yeah. do some ph photography. And if there are any other um, artistic or uh, educational groups who want to come in and spend some time here with just their group, please get in contact. Uh, can we just tell people from outside of Gimpy where we actually, where you guys are actually situated? We're on uh, 13 River Road and it's between the highway and Mary Street. So if you turn off the highway as if you're going into the CBD, and turn right at the roundabout, you'll find us. Excellent. Yep, right near the Memorial Park. Great. Um, so thanks so much for joining us and get on down and support um, Gimpy Bone Museum in their quest for scientific... Scientific enlightenment and a permanent home. Absolutely. Yes. Thanks, guys. Thank you.